Here I'm looking at a rug that my old friend Richard Miller has brought in. Now, I first started corresponding with Richard when he read my rug notes, and Richard was in Abu Dhabi uh, with the Ministry of Education. Um, he's part of the rug club, and um, uh, there was a Persian, there is a Persian Gulf rug club. Anyway, Richard brought a piece in. This is a, a newer, um, it's not antique, it's 30 to 50 years old probably, Afshar rug. It's um, sold to him as Persian by a dealer he knew in the Persian Gulf. Um, the rug itself presents a few problems. Now, I'm going to get down a little bit closer. Take a look at the, at the dyes. The dye is, um, the saturation is absolutely fantastic. The blue, there's, a, there's an electric blue. There's also the um, uh, dark, dark navy blue. They call it surme, almost black. And then we have a good range. The reds are good, um, not too bright. It doesn't have a Caucasian red, but it's still, still very attractive. And then we take a look at the ends. The ends are wool. The foundation, the uh, uh, the warps are wool, and this is unusual. This is not something that we normally see in a rug this new, especially with Afshar, we'd expect a cotton foundation. So as I look at this rug, I, um, Zia brought this up. You know, I love talking to Zia because he sees so many rugs. This is not the kind of rug we normally see from Iran in the last 50 years. The, the color's too good, the wool foundation, it doesn't add up. Zia pointed out that some of these rugs are made by um, um, Persians who have settled elsewhere um, in the Arab parts of the Middle East. Um, who will occasionally weave rugs. I suspect that it's possible this rug might have been woven in a place like Lebanon, Syria, Iraq, very possibly Syria. Um, the wool isn't quite right for Persian wool. It's, it's very good wool, but it doesn't feel exactly like the Persian wool in the color or the saturation of the wool foundation. I'm hoping to get some responses. Maybe we can get some other people who care to weigh in on this rug and tell me what they think.